what's going on nova squad my name is nova welcome back to the channel so we're gonna do a little switch route today um we're gonna be watching some of our family guys best moments um i was trying to see if i can go try to do some different type of content so if you guys really enjoy this uh make sure you let me know in the comment section down below and then uh yeah without further ado let's press the record screen and here we go Now back to Roundtable with Al Michaels, Harold Ramis, Ray Romano, and Kermit the Frog. These zoning laws are infringing on the uh, rights of citizens. I might interrupt for a minute, I'd like to point You've out You've had your time. Let someone else I speak. haven't said a word. It was that guy. <laughs> oh, look at me. I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, then who the hell's been talking this whole time? Oh, well, that's oh, a hard question. question. Right. Right. All right, now, if you're going to sell honey at the <laughs> farmer's market, you need to practice. So you be the salesman, and I'll be the customer. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, honey? Like the sign says. Yeah, over my dead tooth. Good afternoon and welcome to today's auction. Yeah. I'm Al Harrington of Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Warehouse in Emporium. Due to the presence of black mold, discarded half-eaten turkey legs, and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach, I have been advised <laughs> to move these proceedings along as quickly as possible. Do I hear an opening bid? Anyone, do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass castle facade masking what was once a Midas muffler shop? Two bits. Two bits. That's 25 cents in the Old West. We have 25 cents. Do I hear higher than 25 cents? This paper bag, which could be full of money or my socks. You take the chance. We have an intriguing mystery bag. <laughs> Do I hear more than the mystery bag? Two bits and a cardboard box, which may or may not contain a mystery bag. Already the most challenging auction I have ever been a part of. <laughs> Do I hear a higher bid from that James Bond villain over there? 50 kroner. Which converted to American currency is seven dollars and forty cents. Do I hear a much higher bid <laughs> followed by shocked murmuring? Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> We're all shocked. We can't afford We're all that. shocked. Peter, do something. I can't. There's only nine thousand dollars in the mystery bag. Due to my 12 noon court appointment as part of a crippling child custody battle with my horrific ex-wife, I am saying going once, going twice, and awarding this condemned building to you. Our next spelling bee contestant is Omar Mahajarifa something September 11th. All right, Omar, your word is candy. <laughs> That's candy. That's so messed up. C A N D Y. Candy. That's correct. Our next contestant is Peter Griffin. Peter, your word is tree. Can you use it in a sentence, please? There is a tree by the lake. Huh. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? I like to bring transient hookers to the old oak tree where I asphyxiate myself at the same time I'm watching them have sex with each other. T-R-E-E. -E, tree. Oh Correct. my god. We're now down to our final two competitors, Peter Griffin and Omar North Tower. Omar, you'll be going first. <laughs> Your word is coagulate. C-O-A-G. A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. Bet you could spell box cutter. I'm nine years old and I'm Indian. <sighs> All right, Peter, if you spell your That's next word so, correctly, so. you win the competition. Your word is lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping for double sided marital aids. To him. Wait, can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. -E Correct. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey... Oh, no! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> the bride and groom have written their own vows. Oh, yeah, forget that Moore had a new wife. Rachel, I love you, and today we merge our lives, our hearts, and our fraudulent home businesses. Mort, may my plant of fasciitis act like the roots for our tree of love. We will reshape our lives together, just as socks reshape my calves daily. 
I am so happy to be merging the napkins in my pockets with the napkins in your pockets. Rachel, with you by my side, there is no Christmas display that I can't sue the city over. I vow to keep you nourished by filling our home with the worst wine in the world and preparing potatoes and applesauce, just like nobody. And I vow to adorn our walls with only brown art from the 70s. Mort, we're two peas in a pod. We just go together. You are the plastic covering to my furniture. And you are the little spit bubble in the corner of my mouth. Mort, oh, you are my Jesus forever Christ. person. Oh. May we continue to have no respect for other drivers on the road and view stop signs as suggestions. And Rachel, you are my forever person. Oh. And may my dead ex-wife's uncle's Netflix account continue to be fruitful to us for many years to come. Mort, do you take <laughs> Rachel to be your wife in sickness and in sickness? I do. And Rachel, do you take <laughs> Mort to be your husband in bad times and bad? I do too. <laughs> this is so stupid. You? I just found all that very moving. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I just came to clear the search history off my computer before the IT guy... Oh, he's already got it. Boy, you're really all in on Asa Akira. Way off, pal. This is the only place I can masturbate. Where's Dad? It's office birthdays today at the brewery. Ever since your father was put in charge, he's been taking it very seriously. Okay, Brian, what do you got for me? Okay, birthday jokes. We may be colleagues, but there's no one in your league. Boy, that's a brick off the backboard. Chris, what do you got? I drove the family to Disneyland for vacation, and when we got off the highway, the sign said Disneyland left. So we drove back home. Chris, that's going in the show. See that, Brian? Don't be afraid to pull our heartstrings. Peter, don't you think you might be putting too much time into office birthdays and not enough into your job? Come on, Lois. It's the one thing I look forward to at work. It's the one thing I'm good at. I am to birthdays what J.K. Rowling is to now problematic wizard stories. Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, mm. or trans women aren't really women. Wait, what? I mean, uh, the first two things. Okay, who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. All right, anyways, y'all. So that was the Family Guy um, best moments of everything. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to continue on the, to this uh, Family Guy thing. Uh, again, I'm trying to do some different content and, and all that stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, really enjoyed this reaction today. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comment section down below which one to react to next. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Nova, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace. Thank you.